everybody get up. Be a part of stardom, so stay as this long as you can to get your film. And I'm the biomechanic. Yeah. Oh yeah, Chella, <laughs> Chella, and the biomechanics being harassed by, by the, the owner. Yeah, by Tom Mealy. Tom Mealy. What's yes. up with that? What's up? I don't know. It was a throwdown that's, last that's night. That's called harassment. Uh, I'm, I'm already on fire. You I saw, call that sex harassment? Listen, I saw Selma last night. I'm on. Oh, you fire. did? Hell yeah. Mm. Was it really? That's why I can't watch stuff like that, Man, Chella. It let makes me, tell me you. angry. No, you do not need to see that it movie. It makes me want to put the black fist on and like stand on top of the podium and go, Man, that movie I'm was... I'm still black. But I, you know, I got to tell you, what? the guy who played Martin Luther King, I wasn't really moved by him. He, I was looking for something stronger, stronger presence. He didn't sound like Martin Luther King. There's not many people Tom that can Hill, actually what step up to what... the screen? What? OMG. Because he wants to be a part of history. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, when they look at this show in, in I, 2090. I, no, 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 I need your things. They'll say, can I, can I who is that a, guy that's a, cleaning up the table with the leather jacket on? <laughs> who is that? Can I do this? OMG. We are definitely going to have to have a conversation behind this. Why? Oh, my God. You don't think I like what I Wait a minute. Are you? You should have. Why are you doing that? Is your cousin now? named? Listen, <laughs> I don't even need to finish that conversation. Does it begin with a P? Does yeah, it begin with a P? Is that, that's your cousin? Chill I know, you won't it. remember don't unless we said something. Don't let it touch your skin. We won't. Oh. Turn it around. You, you probably forgot already, Shut right? Shut up. Well, you have to mind your business. I'm <laughs> talking to her. No, no, no. No, no, no. Why? You can't do that. Let me do this. Let me show you how this is done. This is how to apply a lavalier microphone 101. Listen. By Tom Mealy. He just wasn't. He just started to rub some chocolate on his fingers. <laughs> he got a little jungle fever. He can't help yeah, it. I know he does. You can tell by his boots. Those you can boots tell came by his from walk. Mozambique. You can tell by his walk. He got that bop like Obama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Shall I keep it PG around? Yes, I will. I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> Mealy got the Obama bop. <laughs> That's real swag. Okay, we got to start all over again. Oh, yes. Welcome to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella. And I am the very serious body mechanic in NYC. Body Shop TV is all about giving you information about wellness and relationships to aid in the longevity of both. Because you can't have one without the other. No doubt, no doubt. Absolutely. Body mechanic, how was your week? It is. It was. It. Still is. No, it still is. It's still <laughs> it is. Um, it is sprouting. It is sprouting. That's the best like, like word. Like beans? <laughs> it's kind of like when you plant the seeds and you uh -huh. walk into the, 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 the kitchen in the morning and you see the little leaf coming out, you're like, mm. every day is like that. That's beautiful. Because you know, beautiful. in order to build something incredible, it's one peg at a time. Yeah, Just absolutely, time. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I had a very interesting yesterday. You know, I work at the jail and I teach cognitive behavior to these inmates and um, I was having a conference conversation with um, this, the officials in the facility, and they shared with me that one of my, my inmates passed away. And it was so disturbing, body mechanic, because this individual happened to be the best, my, one of my favorites in the group. He did all his homework. He participated. He engaged the other members to, you know, do the right thing and do their homework. And he was released from prison on the 23rd of December and went to an N.A. meeting, you know, he had a drug problem, went out with some friends thereafter, and um, overdosed on heroin. His mother found him New Christmas Eve morning dead in bed. 23-year-old kid, bright, handsome, smart. It was just, it just tore me up yesterday. Tore me up. Ugh. And I guess that's par for the course, you know, I'm dealing with that population, but, um, Drugs, any addiction is a killer. Well, my response to that is it, it, it is a tragedy. But one of the things about our system is that addiction is not really understood. And what I mean by that, there needs to be a, a transition period where people can come back to what we call balance or homeostasis. Anyone who uses something that they have to have, mm -hmm. and whether it's a drug like cocaine or heroin, 
or sugar, and I need to say mm. that mm. because there's a lot of people walking around that make fun of drug addicts, and the very foods they're consuming, they have similar, similar things going on. Right. And in their world of denial, they have challenged relationships, challenged thought process, but no one talks about that mm -hmm. because there are industries that are making tons of money off of it. So every day a bar is open, those drug addicts go there, have their fix, and then they drive home in their cars. It's the same thing. If they try to detox off of the alcohol, the same thing would happen. There's a relapse period. So when he leaves that care, those things, what they do to the body is they extract vital minerals from the body. So they walk around with these deficiencies, and the only way them, for them to function and feel normal, they have to have that drug to make them feel in that place again. Because when they don't have the drug and they don't have the minerals that they need to function properly, there's always a void. So it's really unfortunate. It's sad. And you know what's funny? He was probably using a certain amount before he was incarcerated, and then when he went home, he probably did the same thing, but now his body is cleaner, so he can't handle it. The body is always trying to heal itself. And he, he always talked about, um, he couldn't wait to get out of jail and his plans. I'm going to do this, Miss Alicia. I'm going to do that, Miss Alicia. I mean, he had a plan in place to do the right thing and just got, got caught out there really, really quick. But a plan needs support. Yeah, yeah. And uh, a lot of parents are not equipped to deal with people who are suffering from uh, chemical addictions. It's, it's unfortunate. Yeah, it was very sad. So, you know how when things happen to you, you do things to make yourself feel better, you pacify yourself? Right. Well, in the past, I would pacify myself with chocolate. And coffee. And No, not coffee, chocolate. And coffee. Or chocolate <laughs> ice cream, chocolate cake, anything chocolate. So last night I did something positive and I went to go support my girl Oprah and saw the movie Selma. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Was it? Well, you know, Give me one it's, word it's Hollywood. It's, it. it's Hollywood depicting, you know, a real life story. It was said, it was real. It's, it's part of our history. You know, you can't change it. You know, you go to change the future just you know by continue to educate and empower I'm, and show strong leadership. <coughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know, let's me. just change the subject because no, you can't no. handle it. I have to. I just want. I want to say something because I have to. Otherwise, it'll be the death of me. The plight that people, non Caucasians, have been through, mm -hmm. and this is. This is the problem with these types of things. <clears throat> there are wounds that are not healed, and they will take forever to heal. When you take and you create a movie, I understand that Oprah did the movie, but when you keep scraping off wounds mm -hmm. and nothing has changed, it's like being back in the same time when it all happened. You know, you know I got to tell you, um, I had a conversation this morning with someone who asked me about you know, what I thought about the movie. I actually fell asleep twice during the movie because I was tired, I was drained, I had been crying earlier. So that coupled with, I'm not really crazy about those type movies about slavery or oppression or... Um, they perpetuated. I, I'm not crazy about them. I, I don't enjoy them. I know it's, it's real, it's, it's history, it happened, but I, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of it, you know? And, and and that's the point. The deal is this. Remember when we watched 12 Years a Slave? Yes. I watched oh. that movie. I was mad for about a month after watching it. And yeah. I'm going to tell you why. At the end of the day, it is no different than having a professional athlete paid $100 million a year or $100 million a contract because the people that provide him with the contract make a billion. It's no different than the person in the big house that has the person in the field picking the cotton for him. It's the same exact thing. And in this movie, you know who makes the money? And you know who gets Nothing. scarred by the movies? <clears throat> because we're not seeing movies about us proliferating and moving forward. Those movies we don't see. Everything is about shock and awe, but nothing about advancement, moving forward in the culture, creating our own wealth. Where are those movies? Well, you know, I'm, I'm glad you said that because I just became the vice president for the NAACP the Isoptown branch, and my president and I are on the same 
alignment in, in those thoughts. I mean, we are going to be developing economic development in our neighborhood. We're going to be developing all kinds of opportunities for advancement, and we're going to highlight all those that are rising to the top and not focus on uh, cops killing young people no matter what color they are. That's not the focus. We're all about change and all about upheaval of where we were. And, so, that's and you know what? Going. It has to be raw. If you can't handle raw, stay in the shack. Because that's the deal. So, moving on, body mechanic. Yes. Okay. Moving on. Hold on a second. I need to tranquilize this <laughs> to bring you back down. I'm sorry. So let's take a break. I, I recently met this individual through... Can I say something first before you move forward? Oh, I just want to say one gee. thing. No, no, because you know what? There is, there is a certain taste in the air that I don't like certain groups of people. Uh-huh. I love everyone, but I believe that things should be fair. Mm-hmm. And when people are unaware of the atrocities that go on, then their heads are stuck in the sand, and I don't like them. Mm -hmm. So they need to understand what my words are actually saying. All right, right on. You understand what I'm saying? You know how I am, Chella. I love everyone. Uh -uh. So just clear the air. Because <clears throat> I, I, am, I am all races. My grandfather was Irish. My grandmother was from Africa. My other grandmother was... Mohican. My other grandfather was Apache. I have every kind of bloodline in me. We all do. Absolutely. We, all we do. need to come to a reality check. So, excuse me. Okay. So we done? You got that off your chest? I you cleared the air? Yeah. Okay. Now it's time for change. No doubt. No doubt. All day long. 2015 is going to be great. I'm looking forward to it on, on so many levels. So many levels. So remember, remember um, Louis. Remember Louis, Louis Ramos. Yeah. The big guy with the big truck. Right from the trailer. Right. Yeah, the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Yeah, he the made one, it. The he one made that was it like this. He, <laughs> he made it possible for us to be in the Puerto Rican Day Parade two years ago. Yes, when we was two dancing years. down the street. Yeah, oh, we had so much fun. That was awesome. He, he, and that was just off the cuff. Oh, off at the last minute. He got us a trailer. With, Everybody is good in them trailers. He decorated it for us with the Puerto Rican Day flag all around. He got the, um, the DJ and all the people. We had a trailer full of people promoting body shop. Well, you had your journey with him. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. So in the interim, he had shared with me some product that he had been on to help him get healthier and lose weight. And he had been, you know how someone tells you something and they believe in it so much, they, you know, like a job witness, you know, they just... Well, whoever it is, <laughs> they just keep, you know, at it. They, he was like, in, you know, very, very aggressive. Really? Yes, trying to put his ways on me. And I, and I was very busy, which I still am. <coughs> and he had given me the name of this That's individual. The general consensus. <laughs> Everybody's trying to put the ways on Chella. Oh, <laughs> and so he had given me this gentleman's name and number. And I think I had a conversation with him on the phone during that time. And again, I was very busy involved. I had the magazine. I was dealing with that. And, and so um, we've stopped communicating for whatever reason. Right. And then he resurfaced. He texted really? me. Yeah, he resurfaced. He texted me and asked me, I forgot the question. This is recently? Mm hmm. Recently. Not, not Louis, Mr. Walker, this gentleman I'm talking about. And so I invited him to come to our, my launch party for a, a name to know. And he came. And um, I invited him to come here today. Because he shared with me. His product, his vision. I heard him speaking a bit with uh, Deidre Avery from uh, Passion of Passion for Life with Dean Fan Friends, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so I invited him to be with us because I figured that, especially you and him, could have a really good dialogue. It, it sounds like you guys are on the same page, but we don't know until the fat lady sings. Yes. So we're gonna take a break right now. We're gonna come back with Mr. Walker. Stay tuned. We're we'll right back. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and run Cockman, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. 
Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas with a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. No, shh. Trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella. And I am the very serious body mechanic in NYC. Ay, Dios mio. So, body mechanic, I was telling you earlier about... Did you just step on me? No, I said, ay, Dios mio. That means, oh, my God. That's oh, all. That ay, sound, that sounds, Dios mio. That sounds very provocative. I think it sounds very 
sweet. Okay. I hope it was from a sweet place. Yes. So, anything I do is from the sweet standpoint. Yeah, okay. I hope so. <laughs> Very sweet. Yes, you are. All day long. So, no, not yet. Oh. All right. All right you so do talk. You going to do it for me? No. Are you gonna... <laughs> I'm not Tommy Lee. <laughs> with, <laughs> with the Obama bob. <laughs> All right, so I just want to introduce um, the gentleman that I was speaking with you, speaking about earlier, yes. Robert Walker from Young Jevity. Young Jevity. Young Jevity. That's kind of It's a product that he believes catchy. in. So, Robert, welcome to Body Shop TV. Thank you for having me here, Chella. Oh, yes, like wel you. welcome, Mr. Young Jevity. Thank you for having me. So, tell Body <laughs> <laughs> so Robert, tell me what Young Jevity is. Well, Young Jevity is founded by a Nobel Peace Prize nominee, Dr. Joe Wallach, who in his 40 years of researching the body, figured out how to reverse and prevent 900 diseases in the human body mm -hmm. through organic minerals and vitamins. Mm -hmm. So uh, as he went through his life doing what he does with his research, and he found himself put up against a wall by the industry, the medical system, mm -hmm. stating that they're not interested in this. We are going with medicine, so we don't want to know about what you're talking about. So he said, well, I got to get this word out to the masses. So he went to work for a company called Amway. Oh, yeah. And he figured out the ins and outs of Amway, but he saw that their minerals and vitamins were not organic. Mm. So he then started his own company, Longevity, and then purchased a mineral mine in Salt Lake City, Utah, so that he can get the mineral salts out of the earth, take them to the lab, and create the organic minerals that we provide to the masses. Wow. How long ago was this done? Uh, 18 years ago, 19 years now. 1996 is when Longevity started. And how long have you been involved? I've been involved now eight years. Wow. Af after my mother uh, surfaced with cervical cancer. W was she, was she the, 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 the reason why you got involved? Uh, no, she wasn't the reason I got involved. I got involved uh, because I uh, am a retired officer, New York City officer. and uh, Police officer? Correction officer. Oh, a CO? Yes. Oh. And I was uh, sitting at home getting fat. Doing nothing but yeah, a lot collecting, of yeah, man. collecting my pension. Yeah, because that job is I stressful. I couldn't believe yeah. how big the, some of the CEOs are. That's yep. because they're stressed out. Stress, absolutely. So I got a phone call from one of my partners that we worked together for 20 years, and he says, what are you doing? Um, do you want to make some money? And I said, I don't want to do no security. I'm, you know, I'm done with that, you know, after doing security for a lot of celebrities. I said, no, I, I don't want to do that. He says, no. I want you to come check out what I'm doing with this doctor. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Was, you know, so as he told me what it was, I went, checked it out. We invited the doctor to New York for the first meeting in New York with the company. And he began to share his experience um, back in the 70s. Uh, Mutual of Omaha, Marlon Perkins mm -hmm. invited him to go to Africa because he did a research paper in college that showed that minerals from the earth, animals need these minerals. Mm -hmm. And then once he did his autopsies on the animals, he figured out that animals and humans have the same disease. So animals get high blood pressure, animals get diabetes, animals get muscular dystrophy. Mm -hmm. So once he figured out the element of what they needed to reverse those things, he wrote a paper called the Diseases of Exotic Animals, which is now in the Smithsonian Institute as a national treasure, and the f farmers and vet veterinarians are using this information to help their animals stay alive longer because there is no life insurance in the animal kingdom. <laughs> so uh, as, as Dr. Wallet grew up on the farm in Missouri, working with his father, he you know, was studying what animals do, you know, at nine years old. <clears throat> so now as he became a college student, wrote a paper on it while everybody else, else was outside playing football and basketball, he's inside, you know, writing letters, you know, research papers. So 
now we come to the point where he takes the exotic uh, animal research that's in the Smithsonian to the medical system and says, listen, here's my research paper, 1,500 pages of research showing that animals get these diseases like humans. Let's put this into the curriculum of medical doctors. And of course, they booted him out the office and said, you're a nut. Why, why would they do that? Because uh, going forward in 1991, uh, legislation passed a law called the PDUFA Law, Prescription Drug Fee Act, that says every pharmaceutical company must pay up to $350,000 per drug that you put on the market. Minerals and vitamins cannot be put on the stock exchange because they are Pub natural and sources. And they're public right. domain. Exactly. And they can't be paid. No one can claim th that particular mineral. Padufa but law. you can be your own doctor. Absolutely. That's the problem. Absolutely. And, and, and this is where we are with the pharmaceutical industry, the, the government, and the medical system. They are all in bed together, and they do not want us to know that there is a cure for every disease. That's because they're all linked. From Earth. They're all linked. Absolutely. They all get paid from the same pot. So... When you say, I have a cure, they put in the legislation, oh, we're going to send the, the, uh, the federal government after you to dot every I and cross every T, and if you don't come up with the right answer, we locking you up. Well, Dr. Wallach said, before you do that, I'm going to take you to court. Dr. Wallach took the FDA to court, federal court, and beat them eight times to prove that selenium, the mineral, can prevent or reverse cancer. Sound like Dr. Sebi. And Do you know who Dr. Sebi is? I heard, yeah, I heard his name. And they gave him an authorized qualified health claim stating that you can prevent or reverse cancer with the mineral selenium. But they won't let you say you can cure cancer because... That's how they the word cure is patented also. And, and that's how they hold you hostage because once they say there is no cure, now you as a can't say cancer there patient, is a cure. You want to go and, and do whatever they're saying to do, and you're not listening to them say what they're saying because here again, <clears throat> the FDA put out anti jargon against the holistic Practitioner. practitioners. But they got sued in court, and the practitioners won, but they never put it out into the public to say this. Because who controls the media? Absolutely. So that's why Dr. Wallach started Longevity and said, I need to put together a company of people who it's not just me. It's now 100,000 people saying the same thing, word of mouth, which is the best advertisement. So... In 18 years, Longevity has never been sued by anyone. No one has ever said the product don't work. No one's ever gotten sick from No one's ever stuff. gotten sick because these are organic minerals from the earth that are destined to be in your system. Now, the federal government did a study called Senate Document 264, which says since 1936, the soil of the earth is depleted of the minerals that we need to have sustained perfect health. We used to have 40 inches of topsoil. Now we have four inches. Because the farmers grow food at a rapid pace and don't allow the soil minerals to saturate into the soil so that we Give get that. Give it time. They don't There's a pr proper crop seed rotation. Seed time and harvest. But you know what happened? And then they started in the 60s, they started with genetically modified. Absolutely. And then they destroyed GMOs. the topsoil with glycophosphates. And what they do is they destroy the enzymes that actually break down the minerals. Absolutely. So if we're not getting the proper minerals from the reality of what we're supposed to do, then GMO is even worse. Because GMO is genetically modified, which means they take the gene of a salmon, plug it into a tomato seed, so that that tomato seed can now last in the cold weather like a salmon. So Thus, it could be on the shelf longer. Absolutely. But now let's even go back. Let's go back to Thomas Edison.
Thomas Edison created the whole issue of why we're not getting the minerals. Why? Because our great grandparents, when they used to cook on the wood stove, they used to take the wood ash and throw it back in the garden mm -hmm. so that we can now we get... We need the ash. The yes, ash, ash is the part ash of it. The ash is minerals. Absolutely. Not, it's not garbage. It's minerals burnt from the tree that burnt down and now it's minerals. So they took the wood ash, threw it back in the garden so that we reconstitute that back into our diet. Now, since Thomas Edison turned the light switch on and now we got electric stoves, there is no more wood ash going into the garden, right? So, so, so we're not getting, and then because of the pesticides that the farmers are doing to, to grow their fruits and vegetables faster and everything faster, they're they, they still eliminating the time that the minerals should grow out of the, the top soil. So, so now we're stuck in a hard place. So now we have to take it upon ourselves to doctor ourselves. Mm -hmm. If we well, don't, the doctor will never give you a cure because it's not even required by law in the medical system. Well, what's very interesting is this. Is they have created the perfect arbitrage. The chemical companies have created products that destroy the soil, and the only way we can live now is by living on drugs. Absolutely. So they are not only in bed with each other, they're having children. Absolutely. Thus, you have uh, your coffee companies. When they have their plantation, they spray those coffee beans with pesticide. Mm. Drench them. Absolutely. Longevity, we own our own coffee plantation and our own coffee brewer. They don't do it at Starbucks. I don't know about that. Those I don't know about that. I, don't, I, I haven't really delved into Starbucks information you know, thoroughly, mm -hmm. but again, a lot of companies lie. A lot of people playing underneath the organic, fake, the funk. Like Whole Foods. Oh my God, they're Whole the biggest Foods, GMO right? supporters supposed to be, on the planet. Supposed to be natural, mm. but now they got caught that they selling GMO products. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say I don't, I don't know about these companies because right. I, all I know about is what Longevity has done and the reason why, again, we have not been sued by anyone in 18 years from taking our product. Robert, this is great information, a great exchange. I'm going to take a break right now. And we come back, um, I'm going to ask you a lot, a lot more questions. But before we go to break, are you a Jehovah Witness? Uh, no, ma'am. I am a Christian, okay. Pentecostal faith. I only ask because I made a very inappropriate statement earlier, and I just want to apologize to you and anybody who's listening. You know, my aunt and uncle are Jehovah Witnesses, and that just was not the right thing to say. So Wait a minute. Let me peek out the window. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, listen. I understand. Robert, body mechanic, we'll be right back. Dr. Robert Brevar. I'm here for Multi Medicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multi Medicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we do 15 years. We vast array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching to help her with her pain. Vicki is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicki is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained.
find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multi-Medicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000. Or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. Freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh! Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials! You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power? Yeah, I do! <laughs> power! Ba -ba 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 power! Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. Ba -ba 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 power. Whoa. Old Spice Body Spray can change a regular smelling man into a man who smells like power. Now, how is this? Ah! Wow, you know what? I actually do feel more power. Potato chips! <laughs> ba -ba 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 power! It's me! Welcome That's back right. to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella. And I am the constant student body mechanic in NYC. Every day is a school day body mechanic. Every day. Every day is a day to learn something. And as soon as you think you know it all, it's time to pack your bags but you have and to cover be, yourself with some soil. Yeah, but you have to be open in order to receive. Didn't we talk about that? Yeah, we did. Aren't several, men the most challenged time. when it comes to healing, Chella? Big time, big Don't time. Don't get me started. I go meet a client. It's a woman. I say, this is what you need. Bum, 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 bum. Next session I see, she has everything. I meet this man, he has cancer, he has diabetes, hypertension. I tell him what he has to do. Well, I got to do a little bit more research. It's that ego. I go, it's... but your PSA is going up, and your <laughs> count is going up, and your immune response. Okay, you go ahead. You keep doing the research. Yeah, it's, that's that machismo ego, right, Robert? Absolutely. Do Absolutely. you encounter the same thing? Every day. Uh, We've been indoctrinated by the medical doctor to believe that he's God mm. and everything that he says is the gospel. Mm. So it's hard to penetrate that with individuals. But I, I, found, I find it easy because when I talk to you and you say you have this, 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 and this, two questions I have for you. How long do you want to keep this, 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 and this? And how long has your doctor allowed you to stay in that condition? I was in St. Kitts about nine months ago, and I was on the pier. After I finished doing some scuba diving, I sit on the and this guy walked up to me, and he saw me. Says, "What do you do?" I said, "Well, I'm a wellness guru." And he's funny, he says, "Funny you said that because I just visit my my primary care physician." I said, "So what is your ailment?" He says, "Hypertension." I said, "How long have you been working with that doctor?" He said, 20 years. I said, fire him. You know, two hours later, I was on the radio talking. Exactly. Everywhere we go, when I was a youth, I was told that it was a black disease, and I knew it was the foods we were eating. Absolutely. 
So, Robert, tell us how you are a walking testimony to this product. Yes. Well, um, absolutely. I was uh, diagnosed with high blood pressure, like every black man, you know, dealing with stress. It's a black disease. Exactly. <laughs> well, it is. Stress <laughs> is a black disease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, um, I had uh, high cholesterol, according to the medical doctor, mm -hmm. and I had a bone spur. So I was informed by the doctor, I need to go and have that bone spur removed. So they was going to cut my foot and go in and they was going to remove the spur and then, I guess, shave down my get bone. You some more, get, you, get you ready for some more surgeries after that. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, right after that is when I joined Longevity to find out that Dr. Wallach said uh, the bone spur is a mineral deficiency. You're missing calcium in your body. It's affecting Take your more calcium tissue. in and the bone spur will go away because what happens, the reason why the bone spur even creates is because you're missing calcium so now the body starts pulling calcium from different places in your body and that's how it builds up to be a bone spur. It's out of solution. Absolutely. And actually because your body was acidic, it pulls calcium to neutralize for acid so that your blood doesn't go become too acidic. Absolutely. Because calcium's a buffer. Absolutely. Energy. So I took more calcium, bone spur went away, fired the doctor that was gonna cut me. <laughs> right? Um, high cholesterol. They tried to put me on high cholesterol medicine. Dr. Wallace said, high cholesterol is a myth because Eskimos, their cholesterol is three hundred. And they don't have no heart attacks and croak. Do you know in med school, cholesterol is taught in school used to be 300 to 400 was normal cholesterol exactly. until they wanted to sell statins. Exactly. Then they said, let's set it at 200. Exactly. So, Dr. Wallach said. I like him. Woo. <laughs> take. <laughs> I'm in a hot flash. <laughs> he said, don't worry about. He said, he said don't worry about taking no uh, cholesterol medicine. He said, because first of all, your brain is 70% cholesterol, 30% EFAs, right? Omega. Mm -hmm. He said, if you don't have enough cholesterol in your brain, that's how you get Alzheimer's. Because 40 years ago, there was no such thing as Alzheimer's disease. Right. It didn't start until the doctor started telling people, lower your cholesterol, mm -hmm. cut out the yolk, mm -hmm. don't eat the yolk. Mm -hmm. God made the yolk for a reason. No doubt. Those yolks are no bad? Doubt. Yolk is good. Yo. They are? Yes. Yolk is what's up. I yolk only eat 50 good. of them a week. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> there's a study out that says there's an 88-year-old man who eats 25 eggs a, a day, day. And he's been doing that for 15 years, and his blood cholesterol is normal. Dietary, okay. dietary cholesterol has nothing to do with serum uh, cholesterol. Okay, but exactly. wait a minute. What's normal? You just said that there's no, there's really no limit. The Eskimos had 300. Right. But, but according to the medical science, you, they, you, they want you to be under 100 mm -hmm. to be normal. Right. In order for you to do that, you have to stay on statins. Right. It actually stops your liver from producing cholesterol. Right. Because your liver produces 10% of the cholesterol that your body needs. So that means you have to intake 90 the FDA just put out a couple of years ago to all the medical doctors, stop giving your patients statin drugs because it's dangerous for their health. How long, that, how long did you hear what said? About two years, 2012. That's when Lipton, that's when, that's when um, um, Lipton, Lipton came off a patent. Exactly. Because everybody was there, all the information came out. And the other thing is this, the pathway in the liver that produces cholesterol also produces coenzyme Q10. Right. That breaks down the heart. So it was causing heart attacks. Exactly. Exactly. So fat is good. So so fat is good because also cholesterol has to do with estrogen, testosterone. All of your hormones are all based all, on fat. So if you don't have enough if the reason why men get uh um breasts, <laughs> erectile dysfunction. Right, exactly. Yeah, the reason why they get ED is because they don't have enough cholesterol. Estrogen dominance, exactly. that's what they have. Exactly. And they start growing boobs. I've been exactly. telling them, and then they're eating soy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm having a breakdown. No, you're, okay. <laughs> you, you, you're on it. You're on it. Um, again, we have to figure out for ourselves how to be our own doctor. Mm. That's why Dr. Wallach wrote this book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, because if your doctor is dead, he can't lie to you no more. <laughs> this book sold over 200 million copies. World and I've never heard of it. And I it, neither have I. Been, you know why? Because it's, it's got dead been, and it's got docked underneath it. Exactly. That's why they're and hot. It's never been on the New York Times bestseller. 
and is still selling today. Hold on a second. Are they? Can they see that? Did you bring us a copy? Can they see that? Can they see that on the camera? Can they? I wish they could zoom in so they could see it up close. You know what? I'm gonna take it. Let me let me just have that a second. Dead doctors <laughs> don't lie. Thank you very much. Two hundred million copies sold worldwide. Two hundred million copies by word of mouth. By him, he travels three hundred days a year for free and does his health lectures. I go out with him on occasion to you know work with him, and then I do my own lectures aside from him. But that's the main goal is that we have to educate people about their health and get them to understand that your doctor don't love you. Mm. Stop saying, oh, my doctor cares about me. He don't care about you. Because if he cared about you, one, when he was in school taking his medical degree, he should have took up what does clinical nutrition do for the body? He's not taught nutrition. Because they you know it's not required. And you know what's funny? Would you have to preface and say this? Because I used to think that most of the doctors were criminals. But really, when you look at the education, the actual education system was dictated by pharmacology. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, in the 40s, hospitals that stayed open were the ones that sold the most drugs. They got most of the funding from the pharmaceutical industry. They controlled the whole industry. The Rockefellers and the Carnegies put their money behind the medical schools. And they said, don't mess with this uh, holistic stuff. Now, Robert, I don't know if it's because of the excitement that the body mechanic is expressing, but I never heard your answer in regards to oh. how are you a living testimony? Oh, oh. I'm a living testimony because, one, I didn't have to have an operation for a bone spur because it was eliminated by putting that calcium mm -hmm. in my body. Uh -huh. Two, I didn't have to take high cholesterol medicine because I understand from my teachings from Dr. Wallet that high cholesterol is a myth. Mm -hmm. uh, even uh, there were two other doctors on, that came on Dr. Oz's show that diffuted this cholesterol thing. They have a book out called uh, Cholesterol, the Myth. Mm. So, uh, and also... Um, you should get that. Book. How long do I talk about that? How, many, how often do I talk about cholesterol? All, and also, um, because I'm 55 and re retired from... Correction department um, for the last, I've been retired now since 03. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to say uh, uh, at least 100 of my partners have died. Already. I believe that. And they won't take care of themselves. But because of me taking the minerals from longevity, mm -hmm. uh, the minerals from longevity, we call it 90 for life. The 90 essential nutrients that the body needs in order to sustain perfect health and fight off the 900 diseases because every nutrient has uh, 10, mineral, 10, 10 diseases associated with so the, so, the, so the 90 for life, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and 2 to 3 fatty acids is what Such you need to face. intake every day to maintain perfect health. So does this equate to taking a, a bunch of vitamins on a daily? Well, the package that we have is called the Healthy Start Pack, which includes uh, crystallized minerals that you put in water. You drink this two or three times a day. A bottle of EFA, essential fatty acids, cup, pop, cup, you know, three pills a day. And then your liquid, 1,200 milligrams of liquid calcium. Take two tablespoons a day. And... That's your 90. Calcium is actually the transport if mechanism you, for cells, for right. cellular function. If you have any kind of issues going on, then we add on the secret sauce to whatever that is. So say a person has diabetes, uh, since 1958, it's been known that chromium and vanadium are the minerals that will regulate your blood sugar. Mm. And the pharmaceutical industry knows this stuff. Absolutely. They, they have the best scientists... Chemists working for them. They have the best. They have the most money. They know all the things that he's talking about right now. They cannot control it. Right. They can't make money off it. Because a, a, a diabetic would see their doctor in their lifetime 
they would probably pay out $2 million in life in insurance. Per person. Right. But but in their lifetime, if they get on these minerals, it would it would only pay out maybe twenty thousand. Wow. Because you get these minerals, you know, pennies on a dollar. So we're gonna take a break right now. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. I I'd be curious to find out what would be the cost factor on a monthly just for a Oh, I could tell you. All right. So stay tuned. You come back to the air, you can tell us. Yeah, well we'll be right back. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella Treeless. Chella. Yes. <laughs> I am the very shy body mechanic in NYC. I I'm like trees. Me. It looks so empty over there now. Oh, it is. What happened to the tree? They took it away. It was all in Mr. Robert's head. That's all good. <laughs> I feel like it was in a jungle. So, Robert, tell yes. us. Tell no, us. we'd be safe. Absolutely. This, this uh, Longevity uh, product is um, obviously social marketing. Network marketing. Network marketing. Apolo yes. Apolo apologize. It's not a pyramid scheme? No, it's not a pyramid scheme. So tell, explain to me how it works. So, Okay. So um, basically, you take the product to make sure that you are healthy. Mm -hmm. Because one, how can you go to somebody and say, you need to get healthy, and you're walking in with a cane, or you're in a wheelchair, or you're looking all decrepit. Mm -hmm. So you have to be healthy first. Be the first partaker of it, right? Mm -hmm. Then you give them your website. They go on the website, they check out, you know, all the different products that we have for the different issues that you may have. And then once they purchase the product online, 
then Longevity <clears throat> sends you a check in the mail. Done. No, it's no pressure because, again, people have to make up their mind. Do they want to help themselves? So would you be considered an, um, an account executive or independent contractor? Uh, I'm an independent contractor. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a senior executive marketing director with Longevity, which means uh, I'm at a level where I have so many people under me mm -hmm. that I've helped to create wealth for mm -hmm. and health for. So as you uh, put yourself in a position with this company, just a verbal situation. We, we say, don't, don't do longevity. Do your life and bring longevity with you. Mm -hmm. You know, don't go out. Don't get up in the morning and say, oh, I got to get up and go. You know, like it's a job. It's mm -hmm. not a job. This is a lifestyle that we're represent, representing. Can you, say that one, can you say that one more time, please? This is a lifestyle, not a job. Interesting. Oh, it sounds like a lot of passion over this. <laughs> Absolutely. Guys. Absolutely. Interesting. Chell so, is chuckling. You so, know. <laughs> so, Robert, <laughs> yes. what, is there an initial investment? Uh, yes. There's, uh, there's uh, three Tears. levels mm -hmm. that you can come and be a part of. Actually, it's four levels. You can be a preferred customer for free. Mm -hmm. and then just purchase the things that you want to get healthy. Right. Secondly, you can come in for $10 and be a representative, purchase what you need to qualify for your, well, purchase what you need for yourself, but then that qualifies you now to get residual income from whoever else you Turn refer. on to your product. Exactly. And that's $10? $10. Now, stop. Yes. With that $10 investment, uh -huh. Suppose I came in at $10 and I turned on 15 people and they have a, a monthly order. You get 30% of the first month to you, and then the second month that they order is 8%. And thereafter, 8%. And thereafter. So if I came in, right. So if I came in at a higher investment, above $10, higher I get a higher. Right. You, you get $100 for everyone that comes in to your organization because now they're going to pay $500. <laughs> if you're thinking what I'm thinking. My mechanic. <laughs> With that Bentley. <laughs> so yes. Just ignore him. No, no. I, listen, I understand. <laughs> you know in front of you? I, I, no, I understand. I, I understand. I saw the light bulb. <laughs> So every person that because I never heard of this company. Uh, no, I, I'm getting excited. I'm sorry. Relax. Relax. Right. relax. Right. Take a deep breath. So listen, get back. It's right. So, so ten dollars. So ten dollars. Then what's the next level? The next level. Go, well, go easy. There is. There's a hundred dollar. <laughs> there's a hundred dollar level. You can come in where they send you a bunch of samples. Mm -hmm. The first week, the first month, right. and then the second month, then you get your healthy start pack, which is your 90 essential nutrients coming the second month. So at that level, they're just trying to show you. You can give out samples to people to let them try it, see how it is, mm -hmm. and then they might want to come in and be a part of the company on whatever level they get in where they fit in. Right. Then after the hundred dollar level, now you have the four ninety nine level. That level is the easiest level because when you pay four ninety nine, they give you five hundred dollars of product. Mm -hmm. That's a no brainer. So it just shows commitment. Absolutely. And then what's your now at the four ninety nine level? Now you get. All of the bonuses that Longevity offers. One, you get $100 for every person that comes in at the $499 level that you bring in. At the $499 level. Right. At the $499 uh -huh. level, you get $100 for every person. Right. Once you, get to 12, once you get 12 people in, then you get another $100 on top of the, of the first $100. So, so when you bring th th uh, person number 13 in... Mm -hmm. Now you get $200 because you're going to get $100 for bringing that person in, and then you're going to get a, another $100, which is called leadership bonus. Back to number one, from number one. Right, because uh, no. you, you, got, you have to have 12 people uh, to uh, get to that next 100. And what's the percentage of commission? It's still 30% the first month for everybody, then the second month, 8%. Always the same. Always it's always 30 the same, except for you got different levels now. Because now you got 13 people in your organization. When those 13 people start bringing people in, now you start getting compensated on those levels as well. So you got 8%, 8%, 7, 7, 6, 
five, four, all the way down one. to two from every person. Now, how many people do you have in your organization? Right now, about 489. 489 people? Yes. And you've been doing this for eight years? Yes. And this is all you do? Part time. Yes. Are you making as much money as you did when you were the CEO? Uh, just about there. I get a retirement. So you're making. You're oh, making I get almost six figures every time. When you were when you was working. Right. But how long did it take you to get to that point? We eight, said eight years. Eight years. But that's him. So you and I be on the accelerated fast right, right, track. Because, I, <laughs> because you, you got to. No, 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 no. Listen, you, I understand what you're saying because this business. I've had people that came in a year ago. And they making a hundred thousand dollars already. You're still sitting in the chair. You're still getting your piece. Absolutely. Go ahead. You want them to run off. They run past you. I want you to be a millionaire. Then go ahead. Because Don't. you get a piece of everything that comes in, all the way down to the million person. You get a piece of even if it's just a dollar. You know, I've 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 got, I have a lot of colleagues that have um, network marketing uh, companies that they're involved in, and they right. all want me to be a part of it. And I, I love them all. And I just, I've learned recently how to say no or really scrutinize a right. company before saying yes, because I'm so busy as it is right. with, with my basic life. And um, okay, so I'd now, like to, I can not to cut you off, let me, let me get to the next bonus. <laughs> There's another the one? The next bonus is once you get the 12 people and between you and those 12 people, you've generated $5,400, the company now sends you a $300 car bonus. So you can go and get a Mercedes Benz. Get a Metro, get a Metro card. You can get a Metro card, three hundred dollars, <laughs> whatever. But we have what called, we we have a car bonus mm -hmm. where you we we can want every, a convertible. We want everybody to get a Mercedes, right? You don't have to get a Mercedes, but we have the the Mercedes Club. They'll send you three hundred dollars to pay towards the car note. The car note. If you get a car note, that's three hundred and fifty dollars then your portion is only fifty dollars a month so every month i don't have a mercedes because i already i i had a hummer so i said i'm not buying no you mercedes yet i have a hummer it's outside right now. outside right now an eight cylinder a, yeah are you crazy if you can't afford it he's put minerals in the gas tank <laughs> <laughs> keep it rolling they they, they send me three hundred dollars every month for my car that's paid for i'm good so now when i get my next promotion to vice president they're going to send me $600. Look at his skin. He's 50. How old are you again? 55. Look at his skin. He look good, man. Now, this car bonus goes up to $1,000 once you become presidential. Stop. Right. Are these car bonuses taxable? Nope. Because you're an independent business owner. You have and to you claim get a 1099. It. Right, but you got to claim that income. Yeah, but you're going to write off everything else that you're doing. I write off my dinner. I write off when I go to a restaurant movie, whatever I'm doing, I write it off. It's business because all I got to do is hand out one of my business cards and I've conducted business. That's what the government said. Right. And you really only do this part-time? Part-time. Part-time. Most of the time I'm on the phone helping my clients or helping my partners to grow their business. They get people, you know, I'm, I'm, they call me Dr. Bobby because Dr. Bobby. I've studied under Dr. Wallach so much that the average person, you know, like yourself, they don't know this information. So when I speak, they'd be like, well, you definitely what school know did yourself. you go to? Yeah. I didn't go to school. I went to the Hard Knock School. I got a PhD, <laughs> public high school diploma <laughs> with Dr. Wallach. So Robert, yes. I got to say that um, the influence that you had on our mutual friend, Lewis, was, he, you had quite an impact on him because he really believed in what you were doing, he believed in the product. Yes. He was very excited about it, tried to get me involved. I just wasn't in that right space at that time. Absolutely. This is before I met you? This was during that time of the Puerto Rican Day Parade, that whole during right. that but, whole time. But, but, but you know, uh, sometimes people come into your life for a connection, not to be partners or in a relationship with you. And Lewis connected us. Right. That, and that's why you wasn't ready then because it wasn't time right. because Lewis was in the middle. Right. It had to, be, it had to come to you and me getting together, and then now you get the full picture of where this is going. And, and, you know, everything takes its time. Absolutely. So now let me get to the next bonus. Another one? That we're talking about. Is this one for a boat? We have <laughs> airplane. A, uh, 
once you uh, become vice chairman of the company, the company will then buy you a Porsche. So hold on a second. The level before that, what is the, the prerequisite? Residential. How many people do you have to have? Still 12 people. You have to have 12 people direct to you at all times, but then the promotion comes with the generating of the finances. Senior executive, like I am, 5,400. Depends on how many people are underneath that. And, and the, you yeah, have, no, have no, no, no. It don't depend on how many people. You need 12. Right. So if you and those 12 people generate $5,400, then you get the car bonus. So there has to be a, a production of a certain amount of income per yes. month. 5500 50, right, 50, Right, 5500 bucks that's generated into longevity, and then you get $300 every month. Is there automatic, uh, automatic deduction? I'm pretty sure there is. Yes, that. yes. Yeah, auto ship. Auto ship. Because, again, these minerals is what you need in your system every day. So it's, it's not that you buying something you don't need. You're buying what you need, and then you're telling your, your testimony to everybody else to do the same thing. That's it. You're not selling. You're not going around knocking on doors. Come on, I, I need you to buy this product because I use my rent money to right. do this. No, you buy what you need because GNC and, and Vitamin Shop and all of them, they sell secondhand product. Because um, what is it? 30%. USA Today did an article and they said that mm -hmm. their products are metallic, mm -hmm. meaning if you buy calcium from GNC, the calcium product you're buying is 20% calcium and 80% crushed Additive. up oyster shell. Yep. Yep. And your body's not absorbing any of it. Exactly, because it absorbs at 35% or less. But, but Longevity's product, 90 for Life, absorbs at 98%. And you can find those pills at the bottom of your stomach in the x-ray. Absolutely, because we had a gentleman in our, uh, one of our health seminars st stood up. And he said, I have a question. He says, how come, I, he says, I own a porta potty business. Mm -hmm. He says, how come uh, my customers, after they use it and when we go to clean them out, we see minerals and vitamins in the bottom. Mm. So, so Dr. Wallach said, well, how do you know they're minerals and vitamins? He said, because it says one a form. day, Centrum. <laughs> he said, you read it right on the thing. It they go, were not digested? It, no, because it doesn't absorb into the body because it doesn't break down. Well, here's the thing. It's, it's not so much that it doesn't absorb. It's not being dismantled in the stomach because they don't have the proper hydrochloric acid to break down what they're ingesting. Absolutely. And then they have coatings on them to delay their right. entry into the bloodstream. Exactly. And, and that's what happens with most older people. They're lacking the minerals right. to produce the proper hydrochloric So they're all suffering from malnutrition. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's the, the point in case of why longevity is, is so uh, widespread. Matter of fact, Dr. Wallach is now the health ambassador or, what is it, a medicine doctor for Burundi, Africa. He went to Burundi and, and, and cleaned up all the diseases in that whole village in Burundi. And they made him the medicine doctor for Burundi, Africa. You know why we don't hear about this guy? So why doesn't he go to Sierra Leone and take care of the... Uh... It, it, we're trying to get all... We, oh. we're, right now we're in 60 countries. So we're, we're trying to get all over the world to get the message out. But, you know, again, we have the powers that be trying to keep that message as much as they can. But they can't stop the message when you have freedom of speech. So many people. Right. And you and have so the Internet. Many. Absolutely. So, so let me ask you the most important question. Yes. So how much does it cost to be healthy a month? That's what I want to know. The minimum cost, if you have no health issues, is $115, which is pennies compared to the medicine that people are putting into their system that costs thousands of dollars. But the only reason why they do it is because they have health insurance and I tell them your health insurance is killing you because yes, you're is. using this free medicine that is killing your body keeping you sick it's keeping you sick so the more health issues you have the more the more cost all right so, so an example. let's say the worst case scenario a person stage four cancer mm. that we've helped hundreds of thousands reverse Five hundred dollars, maybe, and then and and we and we and we give you three months. So Dr. Wallach always tells the patient, 
give me 90 days and whatever's wrong with you will be eliminated. Or? Or go to the doctor and, and let them operate on you or do whatever. Cut do. your organs out. But again, we've never been sued. To be honest, 18, even at $500, that's a bargain. So there's no, there's no uh, money back guarantee. Well, the only money back guarantee is if you join as a business owner mm -hmm. and then say in 30 days you change your mind, yeah, we'll give you your money back. Yeah, you're talking about they use the product and it doesn't work. But, you know, but if they use the product, I mean, you know, come on. You, so, Robert, it's, have, it's you, in your system. have you ever heard of a company called Kivana? Um, Q-I-V-A-N-A. No, I've never heard of that. Have you ever heard of Body by Vi? Yes, I've heard of that company. Talk, talk to me about what you know about Body by Vi. Uh, I don't really know much about it. I know some people that went there, you know, uh, and joined, you know, that company. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know of any success okay. that they've had with that company. See, you know, again... Um, I've done Amway, I've done Melaleuca, I've done mm, uh, Quickstar, I've done all of these companies. Mm -hmm. um, and landing on the doorstep of longevity for me was life changing because of my mother. Mm -hmm. My mother is 75. Seven years ago, she would have been gone because according to medical studies, 50% of everyone that does chemotherapy die anyway because the chemo kills all of the cancers, good and bad, in your system. We and all have cancer. It kills cancers. all the cells. All of them. We all have cancer cells in our body. Mm -hmm. But the way God made our body is those cancer cells commit suicide after a certain period of time. Program apoptosis. Exactly. Because of the selenium mm -hmm. that you're supposed to get from seafood or shellfish. So if we're not getting enough selenium in our system, then the cancer cell starts to pollock up together and now becomes a tumor. They develop a blood supply. But now, if you drown that tumor with selenium, mm -hmm. it will dissolve the cancer cells. Right, the, the, the selenium helps the pancreas. The pancreas actually produces enzymes that destroy cancer Absolutely. tumors. It breaks down the sheath of the tumor. And also vitamin D is also part of cancer Absolutely. dismantling. So, Robert, so. The, the liquid that you're drinking, is it yeah. tasteful? Um, it tastes almost like, almost like cherry Kool-Aid. How is that possible? Because we use... The red Kool-Aid. We use... Here we go. Um, stevia. Okay. Right? Natural it's sugar natural plant. plant. That's, that's, that's how we sweeten our stuff. To make it palatable. Exactly. You know? And, and again, like I said, 18 years with no lawsuit of, of people who are consuming this product. Mm -hmm. okay? And you're drinking from that sexy pole in spring water. <laughs> exactly. Because exactly. there's no minerals in, in water. So when the doctor says, oh, just drink eight glasses of water a day, you'll be fine. No, you won't. Because eight glasses of water won't do anything but flush your kidneys out. But it's still not flushing out. But All you of need the, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need water. That's why. It's just as important as the minerals. It, it, it's less important than minerals because water only flushes, right? But it won't flush out a disease, right? <laughs> right? It's the minerals on top of the water. That's why I don't really have to drink any kind of fancy water. They got all these waters out, cake and water and all this kind no, of no, stuff. No, what, what I mean is that you need the transport oh. mechanism of water. Re that's yes, yes. Need, because the body is made of... Water. water, so, we, so you need water, and, right. I, I, you know, and the minerals help your body maintain the water absolutely. level in your body. So. Absolutely, Robert, you always drink Poland spring water. Oh, um, it doesn't matter to me. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I'm I'm not loyal to no water company. Mm -hmm. You know, it's whatever is available. I buy it and I pour my minerals in there and make sure that I'm getting what I need. You drink tap water? Um, yes, because I have a refrigerator that has a filter on it. You live on Long Island? Yes, Mastic Beach. Do you use fluoridated toothpaste? Um, no, no, no. So, you know, um, we have a situation of just uh, putting a business together so that people can get healthy and get wealthy if they choose to. Mm -hmm. We have over 150 millionaires in our company. Their age range is 30 to 90. So... It's easy. When a person knows what they want, they go and get it. 
I don't have to beat you over the head to say, do you want to feel better? You're looking for that. That's why if you look at the statistics, more and more people are searching out how to get healthier, whether it's running, whether it's Zumba or whatever. They're just trying to figure out in their mind what's good for me mm -hmm. to get it. But what we figured out is I don't care what you do, you got to get these minerals in your system. Because look at Michael Clark Duncan. He died of a cardio cardiomyopathy. He, had, he, had, he, had he didn't have enough minerals in yep. the system. Yep. That's what the heart is based on. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Look, look at Steve Jobs. You know what I'm saying? He, he didn't have to get a liver transplant. Because we've helped people get off the transplant list. We've helped people get off dialysis. We've helped... Oh, we met with Jerry Lewis from the Mus Muscular Dystrophy Foundation. Mm -hmm. We showed him the thousands of people that we reversed their muscular dystrophy. He took that information back to MDA, and MDA said, Jerry, it's time for you to go on vacation. They fired him because it was about two months before they were going to go back on the air. Money. And they said, you will not mess up our money. Have a nice life. And they fired Jerry Lewis. So they'd rather Lewis. people walking around mm. looking like Jerry Lewis. Mm. Mm. They fired Jerry Lewis. So I think, I think either the end of this year, his gag order is up. Mm. And now he's going to come and meet with Dr. Wally, and they're going to do like a CNN breaking news. MS, lupus, they're all, all that. Auto, all, all of those. All the autoimmune. Minerals, yeah, they're mineral deficiencies. It's, the medical yeah, system have lied to us forever. That's why, again, Dead doctors don't lie. Because this book right here, if you just read this book, it'll share with you certain things that the medical doctor either won't tell you or he don't know himself. So, so how, how does that doctor stay safe floating around and doing this? Well, one, He's basically throwing pie yeah, in their face. Number one, he's a believer in God. So I guess he's That's like, spectacular. I guess he says... Whatever Why? God has, whatever God has for me, if if I gotta die for it, that's what I'm doing. I'll give an example. She has a friend who she worked with years ago, mm -hmm. and his cousin was his cousin. His uh, cousin is a wellness practitioner, mm -hmm. and he was in Mexico. You know what? Mm -hmm. They went down there. They can't find him. They haven't found him, and that's been a year. Right. This is what happens to people who do what. Oh, doctors. absolutely. So how does he stay safe? Because does he have bodyguards. Because he's no, he don't have no bodyguards. He just walks around like me and you. Yep. Because he has, uh, we have about 150,000 representatives in this company. So who are they going to come after? Because we all talking the same message. You know what I'm saying? You can't kill 150,000 people just like that. So eventually what's going to happen is the medical system is going to go head to head with the herbal system and try to take it over. That's what they're trying to do, because they're trying to acquire right now, they're acquiring the, 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 um, the supplement companies. Uh -huh. All uh -huh. these vitamin shoppies, they're buying it all up. Yep, because they know that more people are now looking towards the holistic way of getting healthier, mm -hmm. and so that's where all your money is going to start going into. So the medical system is saying, you know what, we need to jump on this before it get out of hand, and we lose or our shirt. Robert, do you have time to spend some uh, more time with us? Absolutely. All right, we gotta take a break, and when we come back, um, well, it's after three. Yeah, after three. What about your oil? I'll do it. Presentation. I'll talk a little bit after we come back from the break. So All we'll right. Talk a little bit about cool it. beans. And I, I want to do the body shop assessment with Robert. Yeah. All right. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and run Cockman, New York, and we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic. 
working on one of our patients cervical spine this patient has had chronic neck pain for many 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 years has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response and with our specialized techniques she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me. Uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote, or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella. And my name is the very shy, big, educated body mechanic in YC. <laughs> body mechanic, you want to do the body assessment or you want to do the uh, thing on oil? I want to. Well, yeah, folks, you, well, yeah, I want to take a girlfriend's watching people. you. Go ahead, you want to do, go Oh, ahead. no, you did. Yes, I did. Go ahead. Oh, no, did you did you? not. <laughs> go ahead, All right, body folks. Mechanic. You got the floor. So. Make sure you're watching, young lady. As you've been listening to our show earlier, talking with Mr. Robert Walker. Robert Walker talking about how important minerals are. Just important is that taking these um, things that the body needs each and every day of existence, there are some things that you have to be conscious of that a lot of us do on a regular basis that we're not aware of. And one thing is that 50% of the American population uses oil in some form or fashion to either fry or to blanch and cook. And I want you to understand something out there. A lot of times, there are things that are promoted by our uh, agriculture industry, and we think they have our best interest at heart. And one of those things is cooking oils. And I need to make mm. this a very important point. Because you can do a lot of things with supplementing your body. If you are not eliminating the poisons, and I'm going to say the word again, poisons, then your healing will be slowly, slowly, brought to a halt. 
So one of the things I want to talk about specifically is something that 90% of the population in the U.S. has in their home, and it's called canola oil. I want to tell you about, about, about the industry and how canola oil came about. First of all, it is a genetically modified oil, and the original name was not canola. It was actually called rapeseed oil, and it was genetically modified in the lab in Canada, and the name rapeseed, they didn't like the name, so they changed it to Canada Canola, the heart healthy oil. So let me tell you what this oil does. First of all, it's genetically modified. So as soon as you ingest it, your body doesn't recognize it. So it creates an inflammatory response. But it gets a little better, right? As you start to look at the structures of fats, one of the reasons why they take and refine oils is because they give them a longer shelf life. So where does this oil exist? You may think it's only happening in that container of canola oil that you have, that you pour into that nice, beautiful, black, iron pan and you throw your chicken in there and you fry with a little bit genetically modified uh, flour on top of that genetically modified chicken in that genetically modified oil. But we won't get there. That's not the bad part. <laughs> so this is what happens. When that oil goes in, that oil has excess amounts of hydrogen on there. And what they're doing is they're looking for electrons. They call them free radicals. So let's say you eat one french fry. Did I say one cello? Mm -hmm. One French fry, and I know that half of America eats at least a handful a day, right? That one French fry will have one million free radicals. So what does that mean when you ingest it? When those things get inside your body, it is looking, looking for electrons from healthy cells. So those one million radicals will produce one, a million other free radicals in your body. One French fry. Mm. And it's like, you know, like one potato chip. No one can eat one potato chip. Lays. So where is those oils hidden? In all of your chips. Doritos. What else is there, Chella? Name a few other ones. Mm. Cheez-Its. Mm -hmm. In fact, those oils Cheese are used. Doodles. Cheese doodles. As a matter of fact, when you look in 50% of the products on the shelf in the supermarket, they will have some type of corn oil in it. Uh, canola oil. Canola oil is the worst oil you can consume. And I'm going to leave it at that. Now, remember we saw that video on vegetable oil and how it's processed? Right. That was very disturbing. They're refining. And the reason why they refine them is so that they can have, so they don't go rancid. But believe it or not, in the container, they're already rancid. And then when you cook them, mm. they're ten times worse. Because heat changes the molecular structure of the oil, and now it's deadly. So what do you recommend? I recommend, well, back in the 50s and the 40s, what the U.S. did, because they had competition from oils that were grown, that were produced in other parts of the world. Because we don't have a tropical region here. So the first thing they did was they attached saturated oils. Those oils are palm oil and coconut oil. Mm. As a matter of fact, let me tell you how powerful coconuts in general are. During the war, when they ran out of blood plasma or blood, they injected coconut water directly into the veins because it has the same mineral profile as blood. Let me give you another news flash. Do you <laughs> know that U.S. companies actually have gone to Caribbean islands and poisoned the coconut trees? I know I'm going on a limb right now. I hope my ship keeps sailing. Is anybody out in the parking lot yet? <laughs> so let me tell you folks, when it comes to cooking, first of all, frying should be the last option. You always have an oven. And believe it or not, if you have those oils on those foods and you put them in the oven, it has the same effect. It's because of the heat. So the oils you should be using are olive oil. You have to make sure that the olive oil is real and it has to be cold pressed. Cold pressed. Not mechanically extracted or using chemicals. They use a chemical extraction process called hexane and what happens, it leaves a toxic residue. I know this is a lot of information, but you've got to understand, you cannot trust that those companies have your best interests at heart. You have to do your own research. Once you start doing your own research, you will start to see how big the big picture is and what they're actually doing. You are a guinea pig, and you are paying money to be a guinea pig. And at the end of the day, when you get sick, then you go see their cousins, the pharmaceutical industry, and then they'll give you so much drugs so you can continue to consume those bad foods. The company that this young man is talking about, 
When you give the body the 90 minerals or the 92 trace minerals that it needs, the body will always repair itself. That is a fact. It's been proven throughout history. Not just in our lifetime, but thousands of years before that, people ate real food and minerals. And that's it. You have any more questions about those oils? You can buy a shop or call and we'll break it down for you. We'll even go shopping with you and show you how to cook it. No doubt. Absolutely. No doubt. Very good body mechanics. So it's time for Mr. Walker's assessment. He looks like he's ready. <laughs> have you seen our show before, Mr. Never. <laughs> Never? Okay. Never. Mm, you're in for a treat. <laughs> so why don't you share with us your favorite furry animal? My favorite furry animal? Mm. You know, he looks like my best friend when I was growing up. Yeah? I guess I would say uh, a dog. A dog. My dog. So give us three adjectives. Wait a minute. You said your dog? And what kind of dog do you have? Rottweiler. Oh, oh, interesting. Roddy. Interesting. So, we should do a dog assessment. <laughs> <laughs> so give us three adjectives as to why your dog is your favorite furry animal. Uh, one... She's very protective. Protective. She's very loving. Loving. And she's a thinker. Thinker. So those three attributes are how people view you. Now, what's your favorite color? Red. Red. That was he quick. He said that fast. Mm -hmm. Tell me three adjectives as to why red is your favorite color. Uh, I guess the first color I saw as a young man with candy was a red lollipop. Yeah, that's why they use red. So why, give me an adjective. Yes. Three of them. Mm. I can't really. There's something about that color that, that speaks it's to you. It's attractive. Attractive, one. It's bright. Bright. You're surrounded by red. Yeah, it's a red tie. It's, it, yeah. and it's, it's, it reminds me of the blood in our vein. Give me an adjective. He's Rich. Rich. Very good. So that's how you view yourself. Absolutely. Very I am good. rich. Yeah, red is a very provocative color. That's why they use it. Mm -hmm. Yep, it takes you, it, it, it evokes Same. emotion. It evokes emotion. They've done the research. They know. Um, I want you to imagine that. I want you to close your eyes for a second, okay? I want you to imagine that you had opened your eyes. They're still closed. And when you open your eyes, all of a sudden, you are in a room that is completely white. There are no windows, and there are no doors. I want you to give me three adjectives while your eyes are closed and tell me how that makes you feel. Uh, Do you see the white room? I see the white room. Okay. No windows and no doors. No windows, no doors. So I wonder why. Adjectives. Uh, Makes me think of cleanliness. Uh, it's very bright. How does it make you feel, feel? Safe. You feel safe. That's one. Two other adjectives as to how it makes you feel. me feel lost <laughs> for words. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, I can't think of anything. It is kind of strange, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to the next one. Well, tell them what it means. Well, it's actually how you view death. Mm. Because at that point, there's no options. Okay. Right? 
Yeah. That's why I feel safe because right. when I die, I know I'm good. Mm -hmm. But you know, but you know what's interesting, and, and I just I just thought of something. We've been programmed to words have been downloaded into our minds, and we have these illusions, but they're all actually false. Mm -hmm. Because we've been educated that black is bad right. and white is good. Right. And it's funny even that we're even saying white. Because actually, when you close your eyes, it's dark. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. So I think we need to do a body shop overhaul on our assessment. <laughs> I like the white, because when I close my eyes, I can see myself in a white room. I, I like the concept because it, it makes you think, it forces you to tap into your feelings. Yeah. But I hear what you're saying about the so mechanic. So black. When you wake up and you can't see anything, black really makes you <laughs> but, tap and into I think, And I think if we, had, if we used the, the word black, it'll evoke more negative responses. Then you know what? We need to find out what it does. Next time. Because I like the dark. So what's your favorite body of water? It could be a yes. bathtub, a river, an ocean lake a lagoon cloud <laughs> yeah we got to bring the family in <laughs> uh my favorite body of water i guess my pool you like the way he said that right? mm -hmm. i'm not a do you park I'm, the hummer near the pool <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, so three I'm, adjectives about that body about the pool that um why you like it comfort comfortable Atmosphere. Um, Comfort. It's uh, soothing. Soothing. And it allows me. To Which is the same as comfort, by peaceful. the way. Peaceful. Okay, peaceful. Soothing. Give us one more. Um, it, al well, it allows me to think. I have, it's it's downtime. You know, just lay back and float, you know. Pensive. So it allows you to be present. Yeah. Hmm. All right. That's interesting. That's how you view sex. Mm. <laughs> That's interesting. I'm, um, I'm excited about your company. Yes, yeah, so I don't really I. say it that I'm often. Yeah. We, because we've had a lot of people come here and want to oh, talk about products. A lot. And a lot of times people really don't know what they're promoting mm -hmm. and a lot of them don't even use what they're promoting mm -hmm. but you know what you're talking about right. you have a good you have a good foundation mm -hmm. Thank you. this is very nice it's really it's it's an honor to meet you today and she i because I, i've looked at a lot of things i've never heard of this company right. and um and that's really what it boils down to and i you know chella knows me because like from the very beginning i've always that's that's what i preach all the time is the body is just a chemistry exam. Right. And when you, you need those things to produce, you need raw materials to produce healthy Absolutely. cells. The body Absolutely. turns itself over every three years. Absolutely. And if you're not giving it what it needs, then the body has to manufacture it. And this is what breaks down the body and breaks Absolutely. down the immune response. It's really, it's, you know what it is, it's so simple. And the medical community uses their jargon because it's designed to confuse and make it seem Absolutely. like it's grandioso. Mm -hmm so that it's more important than it really is. But if 90% of those doctors said to their patients, come in, drink water, and take some salt tablets, and come back in a week and tell me how you feel, not, probably 50% of those people would never come back. Mm -hmm. And I, how often do I talk about the gurney when people go into the hospital? Mm -hmm. All of them are put on glucose and sodium drips. And that's what actually causes the healing. Right. And the water actually does it also. Because right. you've got to have water. Most have people water. are dehydrated. Mm -hmm. I talk about the... Um, the histamine production when most people are chronically dehydrated. So if you drink water, you don't add the minerals, the water doesn't stay in. So they, they have this symbiotic relationship. So Rob, but aside from the fact that you use the product that has brought you from one position to another, how do you attribute, what do you attribute to your success in the company? Uh, my passion mm -hmm. for helping people. My passion is to uh, make sure that I get this information out to as many people as I can so that we don't have to deal with the propaganda mm -hmm. of the medical system. Because that's all it is. My, my, my oldest daughter is a doctor, but she's a holistic doctor. How long has she been practicing? Um, I want to say 
She graduated in 08. Is she local? No. She's in, uh, she works at Howard University Hospital. Okay. So she came aboard after you started working with this company. So what inspired her to go that route? She's, ever since she was a young child, um, we, we had her in private school. Uh, then from private school, she went to private high school. And something in, oh, the, the church that we were going to at the time, the pastor said, God wants you to be a doctor. So she just, I guess, took that and ran with it and started, you know, taking the proper courses to become a doctor. But when she went to school, she didn't want to go to medical school. She said, I, I need to learn holistic. I need to learn what does minerals and vitamins do for the body. Does she live in New York? Uh, she does now, but she's going to move back down to Maryland. Can we get her on our show? Uh, yes. Wouldn't you like to have her on yes. the show? How old is she? She's 35. Still like to have her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so, awesome. The last Saturday in January. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I went to a lecture she gave. Cause she deals with the. Oh, she did um, some kind of study she, and, she, and it was put in a in in a medical journal or something because a uh, plant, uh, some kind of thing. But the plants where they stop the bugs from eating the plants or something. Something she did. She she got like there's something there's something in plants that actually how they protect themselves. Their cell walls are actually right. impervious to as long as they have the proper minerals. Actually, insects can't dismantle right. the plants. It's right. actually stronger than skin. Right. She did. She did. She, she did. I think about five things that put her in scientific journals. Nice. What? We have to get her on the yeah, show. Yeah. That's all, what's her name? Robin. Robin Walker. Mm -hmm. Cool beans. Nice. Yeah. Matter of fact, she. Uh, she just she's gonna move back down to Melbourne because her her my grandson's father wants her to come back home. I, I think he's gonna ask her to marry her or something. Oh, that's but, nice. Because she was just saying, "Daddy, I want to start working with you." She said, "Cause you know more than the doctors that I graduated with, you know." And you know, of course, that is so. Awesome. It, it just coincided that mm -hmm. my company and her beliefs are right. the same. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Destiny. Yeah, yeah absolutely. no doubt. We're going to take another break. We'll be right back. That's awesome, man. You know, I have various tribes that I sit in, and when I talk this way... We were supposed to take a break. Huh? Freeze. We're going to take a break. No, I'm just... Not, we're not on the air now. Yes, so we just, are. I just want to talk. Because he's going to be going after this. I'm just chit-chatting with him. No, but we're on the air. Say goodbye. Say we'll be oh. right back. Oh, goodbye. We'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. <laughs> You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. My name is Dr. Robert Brevard. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel, we treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we do 15 years. We a vast array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is.
Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching doing it to help her with her pain. Vicky is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicky is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. If you find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation, located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000, or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. Freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh! Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials. You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do. Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. Ba -ba 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 power. Whoa. Old Spice Body Spray can change a regular smelling man into a man who smells like power. Now, how is this? Wow, you know what? I actually do feel more power. Potato chips! It's me. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chilla Chella. And I am the tranquil drink and chaga mushroom. This stuff was but so good today. Did chaga you add something mushrooms. different? Well, I put a little effort. Never mind. What'd you put? <laughs> What's it going to do to me? It's going to make your eyelashes grow. Mm. Instead of them being like this, they're going to be like this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry. This is good. I need some more hot water because I have a lot of residual on the bottom. Yeah, that's the stuff that does it. I know. No, I say, I had to say that yeah, for last. yeah, I'll say this for later. Chet was such a <laughs> <laughs> So, Robert, do you have any questions for the body mechanic or myself? Um, I guess uh, one question would be, uh, or I should say, statement. Uh, I like the energy that you guys bring you know uh and the vibe that i get is that you are on the same page as me wanting to help people no to get to the thing that is going to help them to live mm -hmm. well health is the promised land and that's where we want to take them absolutely because i'm not ready to die yet nope. i'm not going to be talking about this better afterwards because nope. right now i want to do it right here yeah <laughs> what's up chella <laughs> what's up keep it raw and real I'm hanging on for dear life. I'm not letting go thinking about Absolutely. what may be. Absolutely. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Absolutely. So, you know, uh, <laughs> I get that. I get that. <laughs> yeah, you get me. I get that. I get that. Yeah. So it's very important uh, to connect with like-minded people. Mm -hmm. yeah. this, is, this is awesome. This is really, I'm buzzing right now. Yeah. This is really, really awesome stuff. This is the language that I like. So, you know, we, we definitely could do some damage to the industry that is killing us. So, Dr. Walker's his name? Dr. Wallach. Dr. Wallach. W A L L A C. We gotta get him on our show. How old is he? He's 75. 75. How old does he look? I wanna say 45. But, does, does but his doctor, 
Not at all. I'm, well, I shouldn't say not at all. What did you ask him? Does he exercise? Does he exercise? Uh. Um, when he goes to his doctor for a checkup, the doctor gives him a bone density test. Mm -hmm. And his bone density test says his body is 20. Because he's been doing these minerals ever since he was nine right. years old. So his old. body's not leaching calcium, and he doesn't have an acidic environment in his right. body. So his, his bones are hard. And that's it. His he medical knows. records yeah. don't have anything in it. And see, so he knows about sugar. Because the deal is, and that's the deal with the Western culture. When you actually confine, when you ingest refined sugar, it causes demineralization of the bones. Absolutely. It also can stunt growth. That's how bad sugar is. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. So he's Makes complete sense. He's definitely a catalyst, you know, for individuals to see firsthand. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get old and be all racked with pain because look at me. I mean, I picked him up from the airport one time and I went to grab his bags and I was like, whoa. And he was like, man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> he picked up bags <laughs> up like they were paper. And I was like, wow, that's, you know, it's incredible the health that he has, you know, been for all of these years. And there's one quick thing I want to ask you on the air. Yeah. How do they determine what you need? Is there, how do they follow up? Do they ask you questions? What do they do to find out to give you the prescription for what you're going to take? Okay, Dr. Wallach's 40 years of research pretty much is written in this book. Okay. So there's a chart that we have that says if you have this, you take then you this. need this, 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 or this. Oh, okay. And it's, it's so simple. So you don't have to become a doctor. You don't have to go to medical school. So he already has the format. It's already formatted. So, so what I've done to even make it better for my partners is I created a remedy list so that when you come on board, we give you the remedy list, and when you're talking to somebody and they say, oh, I have hypertension, or I have this and that, oh, okay, all right, this is what you need. Do that again? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't, have to, you don't have to think. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's just simple. Uh -huh. You know, it's just information. This is what you need for that. You know, so, so when you see this remedy list, it's like, I mean, almost everything under the sun, there's a connection, you know, but the, the, the main is the 90th century nutrients. You know, a lot of people are scared, man. They're saying, you know, you, you know, this is like quackery, man. Like, it, well, what, again, is, what is a mineral? What do you say that? You got people like, Dr. Wallach has been put in that position and called a quack for 40 years. Mm -hmm. But those same people that called him a quack are now honoring him with mm. medals and awards. Somebody or dead. Or dead. Somebody, somebody yes. called you a quack. Oh yeah, I'm a quackalicious. Mm. <laughs> quack, quack. Oh, because you because you won't com conform to the quackery. The quackery. Exactly, because the real quackers are the ones that started it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Quaker quackers. That's right. <laughs> Cracker. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Quacker quack. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you but, start some trouble. But anybody who, <laughs> you better stop. Yeah. <laughs> anybody who doesn't conform to the norm right. is, but insanity. But you know who changes our society? Are those people. Absolutely. Because they're the ones that can see the through the storms. Blazers. Because you know what? The storm is to create it to confuse. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I got my blinders on, bro. Oh, absolutely. We do. We both do. Absolutely. We know what's up. We talk about this all the time. Absolutely. And it's funny. Unless you travel and get a reference around the world what's going on, there's more brainwashing in this country than anywhere else in the world. Absolutely. They call everybody else bad. Do you know that we are the least respected on the globe? Absolutely. And you won't know that unless you travel. Absolutely. Right, Chella? Mm -hmm. uh, case in point, went to Paris. Uh, they wouldn't even take our U.S. money. They don't, want they don't want it. You know, they, they, well, what's that? that is no respect for the U.S. dollar. Wow. <laughs> because we don't respect it. So, Robert. Yes. When someone comes into the business, mm -hmm. can they upgrade at any time? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You, and, can, you can start as a preferred customer and, you know, get what you need for mm -hmm. your, your health. 
And then you can upgrade all the way up to. And is, so, is there an extra fee to have a back office or is that included? It comes with your $10 sign up. Okay. So, so, so when you get your first 12, the first line of 12, mm -hmm. right? At that point, that determines your, your $100 up front or whatever. And then. When you get the 13th person, that $100 bonus turns into 200 back right. to number one. Right. Depending upon when, no, 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 no. Depending upon what you come in at. At 13. Oh, at 13. So, yeah, number 13 would 14, be 200. 15. So, Friday the 13th is not bad now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Black Friday. Number 13 <laughs> is 200. So, the first 12, the first 12, that's uh -huh. $1,200 that you bring in. Number 13 now becomes $200. And forward, and oh, forward. not back, to, not and back. These are there. these are independent reps that are selling, not just people that are using. But they the have to have well, a but, collective. But a rep or a user is the same thing, because you every to... person needs the ninety essential nutrients. Do you get commission on your own consumption? On no, your... mm. you don't get commission on your own, because that, that's what you need for you. But mm. you get commission on everybody else. So, case in point, uh, married couples, we tell them don't come in together. Husband, separate wife. the line. So, so now every money that you spend in, on your wife, now you're getting something back from that, and so forth and so on. Kid, you your can children, split, you can split that, right? Oh, the other thing I wanted to say is, when you if you bring three people in in a, a thirty day period, next month your product is free, so you don't have to pay next month for your product. You get it free, and you get commission from the three that you brought in. Robert, I really enjoyed having you here this at Body really Shop awesome. TV. Absolutely. Thank you for coming. Yes, thank we you. learned a lot, and we're definitely going to work together absolutely. very soon. Oh, absolutely! Out of, we've been introduced. I mean, I've been introduced a lot of network marketing companies. We both too, have, and been very skeptic. And uh, no, this is this is what I've been speaking for a long time. Absolutely, so really good. you sound like Dr. Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yes. On uh, Monday, January 19th, is our next Touch Sensorium Body Mechanic at the awesome launch pad, 315 Main Street. Our new home in Huntington. In station. Huntington. Huntington, not station. Huntington. So bring it. Uh, bring your friends. It's free. We're going to get free massages by Body Mechanic and I, free veggie juicing. Oh, and, and make sure that you have your pedicures because Chella's <laughs> going to rub your feet. And we know how you when you get there. You don't want to pull your socks up because your feet's busted. That's January 19th uh, from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the awesome launch pad, 315 Main Street in Huntington. All free. Have an awesome week. I want you to love hard and kiss long. And take those minerals and stay away from canola oil. No doubt. Have a great week. Ciao, ciao.